A really incredible thing happened at our school because we were debating all year long, should we refuse to administer these tests? You know, a lot of parents, students, and teachers around the country were inspired by our MAP test boycott back in 2013. And we knew that a lot of people were counting on us to stand up to the new Common Core tests that are, are even worse tests. And so we knew we had to figure out some way to register our protest uh, against these tests. But uh, uh, first, another school um, said they were going to refuse to give the test, a school named Nathan Hale. And then the superintendent came out with a threat to suspend teachers who refused to give the test if they gave notice. And if they didn't give notice, he was going to revoke their teaching certificates. And even with that ultimate threat, teachers at Garfield were still discussing what steps should we take. And then it turned out that so many parents flooded our school with opt-out letters that that decision was actually taken out of our hands. And what we realized was that the same parents and students who joined the, the mass protest against the MAP test as ninth graders were now the very 11th graders that they were asking to take the, the even worse uh, smarter balanced common core tests. And now we have over 221 juniors at Garfield High School already who have opted out of this exam. And what that means is teachers are no longer being asked to take their students to the computer lab to administer the test because there just aren't enough kids to take it. So we don't have to make that decision anymore. Uh, apparently, this, the few students left who will be taking the test will be pulled out individually uh, for the exam. And I think this is a huge victory in the struggle for authentic assessment. The movement in Seattle is really exciting. We've held forums around the city uh, where professors and teachers and students and parents have all testified to how uh, learning and, and instructional time is being robbed by the new Common Core testing. And, and through that movement, we've built up, uh, I think, mm -hmm. a, a real sense of solidarity and, and sense of purpose uh, um, for a larger idea of what education can be about. And that's resulted in um, over 40 schools who have parent leaders who have opted kids out. And I guess one of the things that I'm most excited about in our city is that uh, civil rights organizations and community groups are coming to the aid of parents, students, and teachers to defend them uh, from these abusive test and punish exams. And I'm really excited to announce that the Seattle King County NAACP joined us at a press conference uh, yesterday to announce that, in fact, they were calling on Seattle's parents to opt their kids out of this test. They said high stakes standardized testing has a long legacy in this country of labeling students of color, black students and immigrant students as lesser and that they were going to join in a modern day civil rights movement to reject high stakes testing and to call on our state to fully fund education. And I think that's something that uh, your viewers sh should understand that in fact, our state legislature has been ruled unconstitutional in their support of education. And not only that, they re have been refusing to abide by that state Supreme Court order. So the state Supreme Court ruled recently that, in fact, the state legislature was in contempt of court for refusing to fully fund education in Washington state. And so to underfund our schools, to be cutting counselors, to be cutting after school programs, to be cutting tutoring services, to be cutting uh, uh, summer school programs and transportation services, and then to enact a high stakes test and punish regime to say we're going to hold these schools accountable is, is absolutely, uh, I think, the exact wrong way to approach education.